Hello, my dear students. How are you? I think you are so well by the grace of Allah. Today, I am your English teacher, Muhammad Salihuddin, senior teacher of Dhaka Shikha Laboratory School and College. I would like to take a class about English grammar. Today, our topic is narration. My dear students, in my two classes, I discussed about what is narration and its kind and also some rules uh, how to change from direct narration and to indirect narration. In that classes of the students, I talked about the rules if the the reporting verb is present tense or future tense. In that classes, I talked about some rules how to change the narration from direct to indirect narration if the reporting verb is present tense or future tense. The students, today I would like to discuss about some rules of narration if the, the reporting verb is in the past form, you know all that, uh, say, tell, or say to is in the form of present tense, reporting verb, present tense. If the reporting verb is said or said to or told, then you have to think that the reporting verb is in the past form. That's why you have to know some extra rules. Then, if the reporting verb is in the past form, then you have to sense the reporting speech in this way. If the reporting speech is in the Present simple or present different tense and reported speech will turn into past indefinite or simple past. If the reported speech is in the present continuous, then the reported speech will be changed into past continuous. In this way, if the present if it, it is in the present perfect, then then it will be turned into past perfect in this way. Besides this, if you uh, get uh, shall or will, then it will automatically change into would, can, could, may, might, but should have or could have. If you get should have or could have, then it won't be changed. Then if you get should have then you need not change it will remain should have okay uh, besides this the students if we get uh, this 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 I this then you have to turn it into that here will turn to there and today that day Yesterday, the previous day, these, those, ago, before, tomorrow, the next day, thus, so, now, then. You have to change this word in this way. And in my last classes, I told you about uh, comma and inverted comma, uh, when we will change narration from direct to indirect uh, in the sentence authority then at the place of comma and inverted comma we have to use the conjunction that and here if we practice some example then it will be easy for you please write down dear students he said 
to me. He said to me, I am <coughs> writing a letter. The students here, I have written a direct nation here. The, the speaker he here said to reporting her said to reporting her and you can easily see that it is it is in the past form and as it is in the past form it will be changed okay here he Say to me, comma, inverted comma, I am writing a letter. Here, uh, the deputy speech is, I, I am writing a letter. You know well that I am writing a letter. It is, it is present continuous tense. And as it is, past tense said to deputy verb past that's why this deputy speech will be turned into past continuous and for this reason you have to know the structure of different tenses you know all well that in the past continuous the structure is subject plus watch or or plus v dot ing and extension so we can write the answer here he jeopardy verb said to jeopardy verb said to will be turned into told you know all that in the present tense we wrote about uh, said to tell and it is in the past form that's why you have to write told. He told me. And at the place of comma and inverted comma, you have to use that. In my last classes, I told you that the subject of reported speech is the first subject or the speaker so i am writing a letter here i indicates he that's why he he told me he told me that he this m will be turned into was writing was writing a letter then the answer is he he told me that he was writing a letter here we have changed say to into told and at the place of comma and inverted comma we have used that and the subject of the subject of reported speech has also been changed i think here i has turned into he am present continuous and has turned into past continuous was in this way you have to change from direct to indirect narration the students we will have practice another example mother mother said i i am busy now 
you can see a sentence here mother said comma inverted comma i am busy now here we can see that subject mother said and here there is no preposition to that's why you need not write told you have to write only mother is said said will remain as said mother said that i actually here this subject i she am present in the unit here so she was busy and from this child now will be turned into then t is e n here you have seen a letter that said to at the place of said to at the place of said to we have used told told but at the place of said at the place of said we didn't write told we have used said so it's very clear to you that uh, said to at the place of said to we we'll write told and only said we need not change said and that uh, the word now has changed into uh, then my dear students today we have learned that if the repeating verb is in the past tense or past form i mean said or said to or told then the reported speech will be turned into according to tenses and also sentence here the indefinite will turn into past indefinite present continuous will turn into past continuous present perfect will be turned into past perfect in this way for this reason the students i like to advise you 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 have to have a knowledge you have to have a clear idea about tense structure without tense structure it is very difficult for you to have good marks in narration the students in the next class i think we'll discuss about further rules thank you my dear students